Gemara says in Yuma that when you do tshuva out of love, the sin becomes a mitzvah. So the Marsha is very uh, startled by it. How can sins become mitzvahs? They can't. So the Rebbe once explained, based on a Tanya, every mitzvah has a heksher mitzvah. There's no mitzvah that doesn't require preparation. You can't just shake a lulav. You need to harvest a lulav. You need to harvest an esri. You can't just blow shoifer. You need to detach a horn from the ram and you have to hollow it out. You can't just sit in a sukkah. You have to build a sukkah. You have to get lumber. There's one more mitzvah called tshuva. What's the preparation for tshuva? What do you need before tshuva? Sin. The problem is, if I would sin in order to prepare for tshuva, I wouldn't sin, right? If I would think about God and I'm trying to prepare a mitzvah, I'm trying to build my sukkah, then I wouldn't sin. So when I'm sinning, I couldn't care less about heksha mitzvah. When I do tshuva out of love, and the tshuva out of love, the Tanya says, means that through the tshuva, through the crisis, through the failure, through the mistakes, through the darkness, you experience a much deeper relationship. It's much more authentic because you tasted the other side. The yearning is deeper. The love is deeper. So now what happens? It turns out that retroactively, the sin was a heksha mitzvah for tshuva. You could have never reached this place without the Aveda. So retroactively, what happens to the sin? It's a heksha mitzvah. It becomes a mitzvah. The yeshiva.net.